What's up guys? Jeff here. Uh, it's late and I'm tired. And yeah. So I don't know why I'm coming back here right now. It grows it dark. We grows it dark here at Corals Unlimited. Uh, so today was like, it started off like really slow, really slow. And then uh, it kicked up there towards the end of the day. I uh, had some good folks stop by, say hi. Uh, we made a little bit of money, so that's good. It's always important to make a little money. And uh, we also did a little bit of wheeling and dealing too. So uh, that seems to kind of go, go with this whole thing. Uh, we did pick up some, it's gonna be hard to see here, uh, but some rainbow bubble tips. Uh, one of them looks pretty upset, but uh, we got a couple of them, so that's pretty cool. Some like crazy colored rainbow. Like I looked at them in the container, I actually thought they looked like these guys. Which the coloration, if you look at like briefly look at them, it looks like yeah, they're the same, but they're not the same. These guys have uh, way better coloring, way way better coloring. But um, not only did we pick up those bubble tips we also picked up a main staple we got a main staple in the house um i don't know how the blue is looking eh, ain't too bad ain't too bad we got ourselves some sun kiss bounce we got four of them four of them yep there's one right there Two right there and then a little guy there on the end. Didn't think I'd get any uh, bounces in the house, but uh, we had a couple bounces in the house. So that's cool. Yeah, so it was, it was a pretty good day. We didn't, I don't think we sold a coral today. That's unusual. We've been selling coral every single day. Um, but yeah, we acquired more coral today uh, in inverts than we actually sold. We did a little bit of uh, fresh water today, which fresh water has been kind of slow. I guess that's going to be expected with a business that's called Corals Unlimited. But uh, we did sell uh, some XR30s as well today. So good day. It was a good day. It was a good day. We got the uh, clownfish. I didn't tell you guys about this. So yesterday's video, we talked about the delivery of... Uh, clownfish that we got and we got some pretty cool stuff uh, we got Wyoming whites which we've already sold one of those guys we got some uh, phantoms here which those guys will get a lot darker with age we got some super cool sorry for the glare yeah there's no getting around that uh, we got some super cool ultra ultra small oscillaris some gladiators there's some dotty backs happening Got an orchid dotty back right there. Dotty backs are pretty, pretty aggressive little dudes. Uh, we got some stormage going on. Betty by time here. One thing I did do is I got a Wyoming white for my Wyoming white that's been in the water box. One that we've had for a number of years. Now, anytime when you are adding a clownfish to an aquarium that already has an established clownfish, you need to use caution and um, I had a gentleman uh, that was in this weekend he actually he wanted to buy my big Wyoming and I obviously I'm a little partial to it but um, I've always had a problem with fish stores that have display tanks that aren't willing to sell the things that are in the display tank uh, so I've been on the other side of that not that I'm trying you know I don't want to just sell stuff all the time I want to kind of have a nice looking established reef tank but he asked about my my Wyoming white, uh, which when I look at you know reef and seas or sea and reefs, uh, Wyoming white, there's some differences. Which I thought this was a, a, a reef and sea or sea and reef. Keep doing that. I thought this was a sea and reef Wyoming white. Now I'm kind of guessing, second guessing myself. But I guess we'll see what happens with this guy as he ages, because there's like. I guess there's some qualities in mine that you wouldn't typically see in a Wyoming white. Um, it almost looks like it is a little bit snowflakey. Um, 
but he wanted to add a clownfish to his tank. So the, the big thing that I got to tell folks, you know, when you are looking to add a, another clownfish to an aquarium that already has an established clownfish, you want to go as small as you possibly can get. You don't want to put a bigger clownfish in your tank. You don't want to put one that's the same size. You want to go as small as you possibly can. Because what this is going to do is this is going to avoid any potential issues of adding those fish. Because there's a good chance that if your fish has been alone in its tank that it is going to be um, a little bit of an issue. It's probably a female already and then you take one that potentially could be a female and you're gonna have a very unfortunate event on your hands. So we got a Wyoming white for our Wyoming white that's right there. Little dude is right there. Now there's been minimal. Now we, her and I had a talk. We had a talk prior to the new addition and I told her that she needs to be good. She needs to be friendly, just like I'm talking to her right now. You need to be good, you need to be friendly. And she has been very, very nice to this little Wyoming white. Uh, and there's only been minimal, like the little shaking deal that they'll do sometimes. Um, but they've gotten along very, very well. Now the black lines on your little guys aren't going to uh, be very pronounced when they're very small and they'll get darker with age. But you can kind of see the differences here uh, between the two, like mine that I've had, the, I forget what that fin's called, the one passive dorsal um, fin. There's a little bit of a white slash that goes up. And then on one side, not on this side, the other side, she has a black dot right in the middle, or right towards the tail. But she's beautifully colored. Like the oranges on her are absolutely amazing. Um, we can only hope that this little guy colors up pretty well, but I'm happy with the way that these two have turned out. Uh, and that's really what you're looking for when you are adding clowns is a very uh, fluid, easy transition of introducing another little fish. Now, they, these two think that they're gonna get fed right now. Um, and you can see that this one that's been in the tank's behavior has an influence on this guy because most little clownfish are just gonna hide and run off. Um, they're not gonna act like this one is currently. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's the big secret. Anytime that you're looking to add a clownfish to your tank, to a, an aquarium that already has a clownfish in it, you wanna go as small as you can. That guy's barely an inch. Uh, my clownfish that I have is, you know, a good, what, probably two inches. And she, don't be fooled by her size. She is probably close to four years old at this point. Uh, this is probably the longest clownfish, longest clownfish I've ever had. Um, four years. Because I like the open tops, and sometimes fish jump. So, um, very, very, very awesome how well that has gone. Um, I also have a weird addition that I came across. Um, this hermit crab. He showed up with the scarlet hermit crabs that I bought. Um, pretty timid crab. He does a heck of a job cleaning. I get the feeling that he can get pretty big. I get the feeling that he might be uh, potentially a problem down the road. But that is a full grown blue legged hermit crab right there. And you got that guy. So uh, that's pretty pretty beast mode. He's interesting. He's like almost like a maroonish purple in coloration. Obviously the lights, you know, they always kind of play tricks on the cameras but he's got like white spots all over him and he just motors down on the food. And the little blue legged needed to get in the get in the mix here. But yeah, so pretty happy with uh, the way things have turned out. Um, got these guys, those uh, it's zoanthids, they're pretty big for zoanthids, they might be pallies. Um, but they, a uh, customer came in this week even though the others have argued it, uh, they say that they think that these are magician uh, pallies. So I wanted to keep some. I had like four or five of them, and they've been going pretty quick. So I wanted to snag some for the water box. But I think that's just what this is going to become. This is going to be kind of a, oh, that's interesting, and throw it in the tank. So 
we'll see how things turn out. I don't know if I'm going to be holding on to the bubble tip. Um, we're going to be setting up another tank. We're going to be setting up a Red Sea, which we're going to do a whole video series on that. But the bubble tip might end up in the Red Sea. We don't know yet. Because I want to do, you know, I want to have some encrusting corals. I want to have uh, some SPS here on the white rock there. Uh, some lobophilia going on, some scolies. I feel like scolies are going to be a very high priced ticket item in the next couple of years with uh, potential closures that seem to be riddling the interwebs. But uh, yep, that's how you add a clownfish to an aquarium that is already has a clownfish in it. Just go as small as you possibly can. All right, folks, that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to I'm going to wrap things up here. Probably going to feed some corals. I got some mice shrimp uh, kicking around. Uh, we're going to do a little feeding here because those trachs look like they could use a little extra food. Uh, but that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you tomorrow for One Take Sunday. Peace.